There are many reasons why a customer buys a vehicle. Customers generally have more than one reason to buy. When they become more comfortable with you and learn more about Nissan, they will reveal those key reasons to you. They'll give you those primary motivators and what's going to take to help put them in the car today. And they'll do it willingly, without any tricks, without any manipulation. In a consultative process of selling, after the meet and greet, we want you to briefly describe the sales process to the customer. What's, what's going to happen? I'm going to gather some information. Um, we're going to sit down and, and talk, make sure that I have all the features uh, in the car that you're looking for. Um, make sure that it's the right car for you, and then we'll take a test drive. And then when we come back, we'll talk about if, if you like the car, if we can you know, make that happen for you, we can put you in the car today. Whatever your process is, just simply state it to the customer so they know what to expect. Uh, determine the available time and set expectations. So if the customer only has 30, 45 minutes, honor that. Do what you can within that time frame and make sure that the customer understands you're looking out for their best interest. Find a quiet place for a conversation. Make sure that the conversation is not interrupted, it's not distracted, so you and the customer can connect. Ask open-ended questions, understand wants and needs. Listen carefully and take notes. Make sure you tell the customer um, that you're going to be taking notes. Ask them, is it okay if I take notes to make sure I get everything just right for you? Now you're investing your energy and your focus on what they need, and they know it. If they ask specific questions, give them direct answers. If you don't know the answer, find out. And at the end of the interview process, you want to make sure that you restate to them what it is that you heard that they're looking for. Make sure that they you've captured all the information that they uh, feel is relevant to purchasing this car. You're basically building a buyer buyer's profile. Um, during the interview process, use the customer's current vehicle uh, to determine the following. What car they're currently driving, what is important to this customer, not the last customer, not the future customer, but this customer. How the customer has purchased vehicles in the past, what might motivate a customer to buy again, whether the customer's replaced it or adding a vehicle. Great questions. Um, uh, we know that open-ended questions are, are more productive than closed-ended questions. Um, asking who's going to be driving the vehicle, what will his or her primary use for the vehicle be, what are some of the general requirements for this vehicle, um, what do you like most and least about your current vehicle, all questions that can help the customer express um, information to you that's going to be helpful in matching them with the right car. What features do you like on your current vehicle and why? Um, and, and what do you want on the new vehicle? There's more consultative questions and I'm going to suggest that maybe you have a list of questions that you ask in your interview. So you make sure that you ask them and you capture the answers. Um, you might not want to ask all of these questions. You can have a list of 30 questions, but you might. It just depends on what your approach is. But, you know, um, ask it if there has been a big change in the customer's um, life uh, since, uh, in their situation since their last vehicle purchase. Has, have they have kids go off to college? They don't need as big a car anymore. Uh, do they have babies now? Do they change jobs? There's a lot of things that can go into helping the customer uh, continue to understand what's the right vehicle for them. What will you be doing most of your driving? Do you have any special uh, hobbies or interests? Do they uh, ride motorcycles? Do they, you know, tow a trailer? Do they have a boat? Do they have kayaks? Do they ride bikes? Do they have kids that have a lot of sports equipment? Um, those are things that will help you help them make the right choice for, for, their, for themselves and for their family. What other vehicles have you owned? How long do you typically own a vehicle? Why are you replacing the vehicle at this time? Uh, maybe it's coming off of lease, maybe it's just getting old, uh, maybe they need another car. Um, we know that, that those consultant questions are going to help to build trust. It's going to help to make the customer f understand that you are truly interested in what they want. There are some questions we don't want you to ask. Um, we want you to stay away from uh, direct, open, and threatening or credit-related questions that might be like, um, like uh, do you have trade-in? Um, how much do you want to put down? What can you afford to pay per month? What do you owe on your car? Those are questions that many dealerships teach you to ask right up front so you can get to the qualifying uh, information. But those questions are not consultative. They're more, a little more direct and a little more threatening to most customers. We know that relationships build trust. Trust equals success. Providing professional and strategic consultation will help you stand out from your competition and best provide for your customers. In the long run, we know sales consultants who invest time in developing relationships and really understanding the wants and needs of their customers and then matching those 
wants and needs to the right Nissan product are going to be more successful. I hope this information has helped you today. Thank you very much.